Hey guys, how's it going? Kuperi in here. Today I want to give you guys a bit of a different way that you can kind of look at one of the heroes out there, and it's Ragnaros, of course. I mean, you saw the title, right? Yeah, so the idea is Ragnaros is a very consistent hero. I mean, you just get stats, and they just go up on the sides, and then, well, you can basically give some good minions on the board, some stats, and you do pretty well, right? Yeah, that's kind of true. That's kind of what Ragnaros does. But there is one aspect that a lot of you guys that play a bit of the uh, crazy power leveling strategy have noticed that Ragnaros is incredibly good at getting himself back into the game. And it's kind of like the Light Fang effect. If you get a really early Light Light Fang, what you can often do, you can just have whatever minions on the board, but you can just level. And you can level to 5, you can often level pretty safely to 6, and that's because your minions are getting stats for 0 gold. And Ragnaros has that effect, and knowing when you can kind of make the push and take on risks, you can even do some build swaps in those situations, makes Ragnaros one of the only comeback kings in this meta that is so heavily driven by mid-range stat-heavy builds. Enjoy. Um, it's no beasts and mechs. No dragons. No dragons. No dragons is interesting. Right, patches is the best here, but I think I think I'll go ra Ragna bro. I mean, those are quite all right, but I think I'll hold out for something slightly better if I can. Rough battle. Pick yourself. AFK here is a problem. Bank of gold or better options next turn. Better options this turn I can try. I like that. I also like that as a follow-up. Let's do it. Okay. He beat Rafam. Wow. Omo on three beating Rafam is pretty ridiculous. Alright. It's a little weak, but we'll see. Maybe I can make something of it. Whoa, a rat king. Yeah, there are some out there. Really, man? I have a few more locks. The odds are in my favor. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Hey, 
Alright. So bad. Yeah, this is not very good, but um, the good thing about Murlocs and Kaboombots is they have high reach. Because they, they're attack heavy. So... Yeah, I might not win, but I'm hoping to get some kills. And if we can activate on 10 gold, it should be alright for a run. Damn. Five to eight. Sign me up for eight, Doc. That's right. There we go. Probably Alec here now, first place. No? Oh, Omu. Okay. Uh, and it's pretty tough to level here. Yeah, it's pretty tough to level. What is that, a 9 9 demon? Three gold? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty hard to beat. Greed. Well, if I get the triple, it hits nothing. I don't know. Doesn't seem very good to do that. Really? Did it. I've got some fresh recruits for you. That's a great play. I can't wait to see this shake out. Hire one of these recruits. A good tactical right. choice. up in the world it's not the strongest but it'll fight hard god damn it okay yeah stacking a few stats on the battle master is pretty good calculated damage taken <laughs> ah we'll see man we'll see I mean, it's a pretty shitty Light Fang, but it's still a Light Fang. Yeah, the thing is, I want to replace the... Actually, no, I should probably replace the Battle Master, now that I think about it. How was this guy at 32 health? I know I had a pretty powerful turn, but I feel like I could have beaten him at least last turn. 
He tied first place last turn. What the fuck? What? You're good at this. <laughs> so many shinies. He sold it. Of course I sold it. This is golden. This is plus four plus four to the two gold grovers. I think I'll actually do this. I think I will keep both mechs for the gold grubbers anyway, and I want stats on them so I can give them divine shield later. Could have eaten the battle master? Yeah, but if I'm gonna sell the other one, I gain zero gold. I only really want to do that if I gain gold, which I don't. Six six Murloc over battle master. Well, the battle master takes a buff, so the battle master is like minus one, minus one a turn. Uh, we'll see. Oh, 9 to 15. We hit him for 15, right? Oh, no, we hit him for 9. Oh, he just died? Wow. Okay. Stream sucks when you watch it in 360p. Well, if you're watching it in 360p, you probably can't see that in the lower right corner there's a Raid Shadow Legends counter. Raid Shadow Legends. Hello, can you hear me? Is the audio in 360p as well? It is a Raid Shadow Legends counter, guys. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, you watching 160p. Wait, this guy's at 37? Holy shit. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, not anymore. It's true. I need to get a golden gold grubber to actually play buffs until I get that. There's not much I could do. Won't stop me from banking up a few buffs, though. Eh, it's not too usable anymore. Yeah, that's a bit of a whiff. Alright, demons. Against demons, I want the opposite here. We're gonna play Raid Shadow Legends in about 45 minutes. I want to warn you guys, I have... Hold on, I don't want to exaggerate. Uh, seven, eight... Nine, nine plus 75. I have 84 shards to open. 84. I expect at least one Papega swipe per shard when we start popping them open, okay? At least one. Why not level? The only thing I would need from six would be more Amalgadons. I don't really count on that. The main things I need right now is a Golden Gold Gerber so I can start playing buffs again, as well as the... Uh, Divine Shield, Taunt, Magnetic. Oh, that's easy. How much is that worth in dollars? 
Uh, I had like a few left from logins since the last time I played, and it was like... I think it's 25 for like 55 Canadian dollars. And considering it's Canadian dollars, not that much really. There we go. Exactly what you were looking for. I like where you're going with this. Wait, I don't have an elemental. I have two mechs already though. But yeah, how good is that really? I don't know. Alright, it's great, we'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Pirates, that looks pretty good. How do you download Raid Shadow Legends? Description below, or exclamation mark, Raid Command, if you guys want to try it. It's a free game. It's pretty fun. Yes, it has some pay features, but you don't have to use them. Most valuable thing in uh, gacha RPG games like this is your time and efficiency. It has a PC client and mobile. Oh, it's this crap. I think we outscaled him. I'm not sure I can do 16 now. The problem I face is if he gets like a Baron or something. Like we're way stronger there, but like one specific card can throw that way out of balance. Wait, maybe I should have got the taunt. Oh, no, never mind. Don't have a Murloc or an Elemental. Um. Alright, yeah, fine. I think I'm gonna give this taunt. What's that? Um, why? Uh, because if you like spam attacks and I snipe like a cat guard, it's a pretty big deal. One, two, three, four. Eight, twelve. All right, let's try one more here. Yeah, spawn. Spawn's always good, dude. Especially turn 14. Ah, shit, he got them both. I think I might actually go over the top on stats. Yep. Over the top. Very nice. By a lot. Yep. I think you need a triple category or triple baron. 